In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to work with the flat roof that's created in this model. What we're going to do is create a split line across the roof here, which will essentially break the roof into two sections. And then what we're going to do is put a point in the center of this part of the roof, which will form a location for a drainage gully. And then what we'll do is we will take the newly formed border of the roof in this area here and lift it by 150 millimeters so that it's higher than the point in the center by 150 mil. So what we need to do first of all for this is we need to select the roof by clicking on it and over here you'll see a contextual panel in relation to editing the roof. So what we want to do is add split line. So clicking on there and what I want to do is I want my split line to go from the very corner in here. So you might have to uh, scroll in to make sure you're clicking on the corner. I'm scrolling back out now. And I'm just going to pan over here. And what I want to do is you will see uh, the angle of the split line coming up there. It's 63 degrees at the moment. Now it's gone to 73 and so on. Well, I want my line to come across at 90 degrees. So I'm just going to move over here until I'm intersecting with the edge of the roof. And I'm going to do another click. Now, what I want to do next is to put a point in the center of the roof over here. So here we have the add point option. So I'm going to click on add point and I'm just going to place a point somewhere in the center of the, the roof. It doesn't matter exactly where. Next, I'm going to go to Sub Elements Modify. And what I want to do is, oh, actually, I have to come over here and click the Modify button over here first to come out of that. And you can see the split line on there. You won't necessarily see the um, point in the middle of the roof, but if you hover over it, you will see it appearing there just to prove that it is there. What we want to do now is to take the newly formed rectangular boundary here and raise it by 150 millimeters. So I'm going to select the roof by clicking on it. And we're going to go to modify sub elements. And I want to come down here and what I want to do is I want to select the chain of lines. I want to actually select the entire set of four lines. So if I come down here and hover over that line, what I want to do is press the tab key until it says chain of lines and then select. What do I want to do with those four lines? I want to raise the elevation of them. So I'm going to come over here and raise it by, I think I said 150 millimeters at the start of this, but I'm going to raise it by 250 just so you can see. It will look a little bit more uh, easy to see visually if I raise it by 250. So type in my 250 there and press enter. And now what we've got is we've got effectively a dish in the roof where the point that's in here was at the original roof level and the newly formed uh, borderline of the roof has been raised by 250 millimeters. I'm going to click on edit, uh, sorry, modify now. And what I'm going to do is go back into my floor plans and look at my roof plan. And you can see the area in here now where the central point is lower than the edge of the roof. What I'll do here is I'll put in a section so if i come up to my view tab click on section and draw a section going approximately through the uh, point on the roof it doesn't matter exactly if it's not perfectly on it but roughly going through it uh, pressing escape now and then i'm going to double click on the head of this section and that will bring me directly to it and here you can clearly see that the roof has uh, been raised at the edges and it's got its original level in the center. And if you look at the datum lines out here for roof, you'll see that that lines up perfectly with the point that's in here because we haven't moved the point. What we've done is we've raised the edges by 250 millimeters. So that cross section just kind of shows that uh, the raising of the edges has occurred properly. The next thing we can do is to change the underside of the roof slab here so that it's uh, flat. Uh, you would could, What we're trying to achieve here is having a ceiling on the inside, which is horizontal. So to do that, we have to select the roof, then come over here to Edit Type. And what we're trying to do here is to edit the construction. So click on Edit here. 
and the structure thickness is 400 millimeters but if we click variable the structure will be 400 millimeter thick at its lowest point but it will also make it thicker at the edges so click on the variable button and go OK and go OK again and now you can see the underside of the roof slab is level. If we want to look at that in a little bit more detail we can zoom in. Now this particular one has only a very basic makeup but if we had construction type that had a layer for insulation and a layer for maybe asphalt and maybe a layer for concrete you would see the layers in here right now but this particular type of roof that I've got in my model is just a very basic roof with no separate layers in it really. 